Today, you're going to use Tinkercad to design your perfect classroom. You're going to go into Tinkercad and make a new project. And you're going to come up and change the name, make it your name, and then class or classroom. Now you're ready to begin designing. Once you've chosen what classroom you want to make, you have a couple of choices to how to get started. I like to start by making the base of my classroom, kind of what the room is going to look like. So I'm going to start with my box shape and I'm going to stretch it out so it covers almost the entire work plane. And I'm going to make this really skinny down to like one or two for the size. This is going to be my room. Now your room does not have to be a square or a rectangle. You can get creative and make it look different ways but I'm going with something simple for this demonstration. If you want, you can also add walls. I would use the box shape again, stretch it out nice and long, bring it in nice and skinny, and then create my walls like this. I'm gonna make these a different color. We're gonna go with blue for my walls. But what I would do to make it easier for you to work and also for others to see is to make sure that you either leave one side open so that we can see inside or after you've put everything in, make one of your walls transparent. So I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to start by duplicating this one and just sliding it over. So I have all of my three walls here. If I'm going to put a fourth wall in, I'm going to bring this one up here to the front. I'm going to come up to solid and I'm going to make it transparent so that I can still see into the room. You can do that with more than one wall if you want. Or as I said, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to leave it open on one side so I can add things and make it look a little nicer. So now I'm going to begin putting in what I want for the rest of my room. So I'm going to go and I'm going to start with a cylinder here, make it a little bigger, shrink it down a bit. I don't want this too big. I'm going to duplicate. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to make this a nice blue color. Make it a little taller. And then I'm going to bring this down kind of level so I can still see the blue. This is going to be my little swimming pool here inside the classroom because who doesn't want a classroom with a swimming pool? If you go in here um, to our menu, there are lots and lots of things you can add in. If you go to everyday objects, we've got all sorts of things. We have computers, pencils, uh, we're going to go to more shapes here and we can keep scrolling down and find even more things to add in. I'm going to go to, let's see, where else do I want to go? I go to featured collections and under featured collections, we have some furniture options. Maybe I want to add a little game console, a little arcade game to my classroom. Now, one thing to be aware of is that some of these all right, if you look up here, it says scaling locked. That means you can't change the size of it. Don't ask me why, but Tinkercad has some of these shapes locked so that you can't change the size, All right? But other than that, there's a ton of great things here in our featured collections where we can go find some cool stuff to add to our classrooms. So you're going to create your classroom, add whatever you want into it to make it the perfect classroom. And again, make sure you either leave one side open so we can see, or when you're done, put your fourth wall in and make it transparent so that we'll be able to see through it. And again, to make it transparent, I'm going to click here, control D to duplicate, put my wall in on my color menu. I'm just going to choose transparent. And now I'm able to see through into the room. All right. So have some fun. Make sure you add lots of detail. Make sure you have a space for students to learn and a place for teachers to work. 
When you're done, you're going to want to take at least two screenshots, add them to your reflection document, and answer the rest of the questions.